when and how, mastering, do you like, and what do you think of, in English conversations. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of conversational English, expressing preferences. More specifically, we're going to focus on how to use the phrases, do you like, and what do you think of, when asking others about their likes and dislikes. Knowing when to use these questions is crucial, as the context can shape the meaning of your conversation. Do you like, is a common question used to inquire about someone's preferences or interests. Let's explore the right contexts for using this phrase. Scenario 1. Casual conversations. Imagine you are having a casual conversation with a friend. This is a perfect context to use, do you like? It could be anything from a shared interest to a random thought that popped into your head. For example, do you like soccer? Or, do you like this song? Scenario 2. Making plans. Another common scenario is when you are making plans with someone. Asking, do you like Italian food? Before deciding on a restaurant can ensure everyone enjoys the meal. Now, let's look at, what do you think of? This phrase tends to be used more for soliciting opinions on more specific topics or issues. Scenario 1. Seeking opinions. If you're discussing a particular movie, book, or current event, asking, what do you think of, can be a great way to hear someone's thoughts. For example, what do you think of the new Marvel movie? Or, what do you think of the recent election results? Scenario 2. Asking for advice. Suppose you're seeking advice or feedback on something. In that case, what do you think of, can be your go-to phrase. For instance, if you're trying out a new style, you might ask your friend, what do you think of this outfit? And there you have it. We've explored the right contexts for using the questions, do you like, and what do you think of, when asking about preferences in English. Remember, do you like, tends to be used in more casual or planning contexts, while, what do you think of, is great for soliciting opinions or seeking advice. Keep practicing these phrases in different contexts to enhance your English conversation skills. Remember, learning is a continuous process. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Stay tuned for our next lesson. Happy learning!